Hello friends and welcome to Sommelier Talkies. Last week I had run a contest partnering with Celia de Dauphin, one of the largest Rhone Valley producers. The contest was to ask me a question, anything wine related, which I will try to then answer through my weekly Sommelier videos. Very happy to say that I received a number of responses. Thank you so much for sending through. Some came through my DM, some came through my post. And subject to all the rules of the contest, I had to pick two winners, uh, although each of the questions are very, very interesting and I will try to answer them in my next weekly videos. Today's winner is Nina Lee from Essex. Congratulations, Nina. Fantastic question. Hoo -hoo. And I'm going to read out Nina's question in her own words. I love red wines. What would you recommend as the perfect summer red? Can I do anything with red during summer? And what snacks and nibbles can I pair them with if I ever get to entertain? Yes, I am very positive. First of all, we will entertain. Things are coming back to normal. It will be a new normal and we will meet our friends. Now, for summer, your red wine must be really fresh, fruity, with crisp acidity and with low levels of tannins. Now, that is the most important bit because you don't want dense, rich, chewy tannins because they come in the way of your palate, they rub against your tongue, they create friction, heat, and with the heat of the environment already around you, it's just too much to handle. So soft, supple tannins is what you're looking for. Two varieties are very good for this. One is Pinot Noir and one is Gamay. Pinot Noir, classic region from Burgundy. I will talk more about Burgundy in my next few episodes because it's a very complex region to understand. But Pinot Noir is also grown in Chile, Tasmania, New Zealand, Oregon, and these are fabulous producers producing some very affordable and value-driven Pinot Noirs um, that you can definitely try now. Gamay is another grape also classically produced in Burgundy in the region of Beaujolais. That's again another grape which is very thin-skinned and very low on tannins. So these two are perfect grapes to complement with your starters. And the beautiful thing about these two grapes is that they pair with any kind of starter dishes, literally majority of the dishes that you can think of. Uh, firm, medium textured, nutty cheeses like um, cheddar, manchego, even brie. And I'm an Asian, so I love my Asian snacks. So vegetable samosas, uh, chicken satay. The buttery texture of peanut sauce goes very well with the fruitiness and the crisp acidity of Pinot Noir. You can also pair Pinot Noir and Gamay with a number of starter appetizer dishes like crudités with avocado, dips, hummus, baba ganoush. They are perfect to go with starters. If you're looking for something full bodied to pair with your meat starters, you can look for two other varieties, Grenache and Merlot. These are very luscious fruit driven wines, but the one thing that you need to really be careful about is that they're not too oak heavy. Please look for wines that have low or subtle levels of oak or practically no oak because you need the fruitiness of the wine to come out, the lusciousness of the wine to come out so that you can pair them with meats. So Grenache and Merlot are two other grapes that you can look for. And talking of Grenache, I have with me Le Dauphin's wine, which is the Grenache based uh, Le Dauphin Côte de village level wine. And the winemaker Laurent Perry has done a special micro oxygenation technique to soften the tannins, to bring out the fruitiness, to make these wines more accessible. Very, very good wine to pair with meat. The snacks that a Grenache based wine can go well with include lamb kebabs, or, uh, quesadillas, mini pepperoni pizzas, sausages, as well as uh, blue cheeses such as Rockford and Stilton. There's enough fruitiness to go and to cut through the sharpness of the cheese. So Grenache and Merlot are your two other grapes that you can look for when pairing in summer. Another wine that you can look for if you don't want too much of full body are sparkling Shirazes from Australia. They're great for summers, great for barbecues and to pair with meats. They've got fizz in them but they also have the fruitiness and the lusciousness that go really well with meat and the underlying tannin level to cut through the meat but not overly. So these are the grapes that you can pair for summer, red grapes in particular. So there was another question which is can I do anything with red wines during summer? Yes, so if your friends don't like 
red wine as it is, you can make a red wine punch and it's quite easy. Take a picture, chop some apples and oranges, add some orange juice to it, a little bit of brandy, muddle up and just press the fruits a little bit and then add some red wine bung it into the fridge and take it out after two hours if you want you can add some ice to it so it's like a sangria but it doesn't have to have spanish uh, red wine inside it you can add any red wines so that's another idea for you for summer with red wines i hope i have answered your question enjoy your summer and enjoy meeting with friends we will meet up and we'll have a great time together